Hello, beautiful humans. Welcome back. Time for another painting tutorial. Let's do it. Uh, so, if you want to follow along at home, uh, as far as materials go, sticking with acrylic paints today. Uh, just working with my um, uh, three primary colors, red, yellow, blue. Also a little bit of uh, black and white, because why not? Uh, I'm going to have uh, work with at least, uh, at least a few different sizes of brushes. Something a little on the wider side, some with a little bit of a point to it. Uh, and maybe just kind of a, a little girl somewhere there in the middle. Um, okay, let's make a skyline. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my uh, bigger brush that I'm working with, my nice pretty big lady. And somewhere on my little paper plate palette or whatever I'm working with, I'm gonna mix a little bit of yellow and white together. Yellow and white on that big girl brush. And starting in the middle, just right across the line, I'm gonna do a nice big, wide belt of yellow. Good. So, uh, once I got this kind of middle third section done with that yellow, uh, sticking with that big girl brush, sticking with that kind of light yellow color I've been playing with, I want to add a little bit of red to it, just a little bit of red into that puddle. A nice kind of salmon color. And starting at the bottom and the top, kind of working on them both simultaneously, I'm going to pick up where I left off, smearing that around, and working my way up and down. And as I work my way both up and down simultaneously, uh, every time I go in to put a little more paint on my brush, I'm going to add a little more red to that puddle each time. So that as I get higher and lower, it's a little darker and darker as I go. Cute. Oh my god, I love her. All right, she's great. She's amazing. So once you're feeling good to okay about this kind of yellow to salmon to pink fantasy. Um, uh, I'm gonna give that big girl brush a bath, wash her off in some kind of a little water cup or whatever you got moving down. Um, and then moving forward, I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna switch over to maybe something kind of medium size. I still want a nice kind of uh, flat edge to it, but she doesn't need to be quite as big. And on my paper plate palette this time, I'm gonna mix a little bit of red and blue together. To get a nice, deep, dark, sensual purple. And once I got that kind of deep purple, I'm going to go right across the middle of my canvas, right in the middle of all this kind of yellowy business that they first lay down. And straight-ish, straight adjacent, it's going to shape out a nice kind of straight line. Nice and skinny back and forth, we're going to call her Horizon. Then on above that, I'm going to do another little uh, skinny purple line. Uh, this time a little bit of a zigzag to it. I want to shape out a nice kind of uh, a cityscape in the back. So if you want to think, uh, it's kind of like, again, kind of a little heart water bit. Over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, etc., 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 as you go. any space in between these two little purple lines, we'll just fill in with that same deep dark color. And once you've got that sort of uh, basic shape laid out, you can uh, stick with this brush or whichever brush uh, speaks to you um, and add any little extra details, that same color, any little extra details, uh, spires, towers, uh, anything else you want to add. Once you got your little uh, outline silhouette of your skyline there, uh, if you haven't already, uh, any kind of tiny little baby brush you got on your palettes, paper plates, whatever you're working with, uh, mix white with just a tiny bit of yellow. Get a super, super light, light business color. And then come up here in your sky wherever it feels right. Maybe I got, I got my moon hanging out. And just to be extra fancy, using that same super, super light yellow, coming right down below into some of this water, very lightly kind of back and forth. Shape it 
to have some little streaks, 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 streaks. Streaks of white, give it the idea it got some light reflecting off of that. Now after you got those, using that same little tiny brush, give her a bath, get her clean, get her nice. Mix up a little bit of red and yellow. Equal amounts, get a nice fiery orange there, right on the tip of that little baby brush. And coming up into your sky anywhere, you can shake out some little clouds. Just like little concentric circles. Some nice orange sunset clouds. Lots of nice fiery clouds, not late. <clears throat> now, once you got all of that business, now let's come down here in the foreground and shape out a, um, I don't know, maybe she's got a, uh, maybe she's got a, a park over there. We're looking at the city from across the park. So uh, maybe that medium brush even, a big brush if you feel fancy. Uh, I'm gonna mix a little bit of yellow and blue together. This bright green. Coming down here, just kind of long, slow strokes. Maybe I got a little bit of a, a little bit of a thing going on out there. Now, a tree. So, brown, complicated, but not really. First, mix a little bit of that red and yellow together, get a nice bright fiery orange, and then add just the tiniest bit of blue. Red, yellow, and just a little bit of blue. I mean those kind of earth tones colors. I'm gonna kind of shape out a little tree over here. So she just kind of goes. And then either with that big brush or medium brush, a little bit more of that green on it, right on the tip. And like a stamp, I'm just gonna tap it. And once you got that, same big girl brush, put a little bit of yellow right on the tip there. And then any little extra details you wanna add. Easy breezy. Uh, hope you enjoyed. See you next time.